Much better. Now then, what did you say, Chuck? I said, what's all that noise, Mom? Everybody's getting their horns in tip-top shape for New Year's Eve, Honey Bumper. What's New Year's Eve? It's when the old year ends and the new year begins. That happens tonight at midnight. And trucks celebrate the occasion by making lots of noise. Will anything change when the new year starts? Well, I suppose a new year brings many changes when it arrives. In a way, everything changes. Really? It's just a tick of the clock, Chuck. Dad, I just have to see it. It's awfully late. I'm not so sure a little truck like you will be able to stay awake long enough. I swear I can make it, and I promise I won't be grumpy the next day, and I'll take a nap, <laughs> and... All right, all right, because it's a special occasion. Thanks. Wait till I tell the guys about New Year's Eve. Yippee! <laughs> change when the new year arrives? Ay, caramba. No wonder you told us to get permission to stay up late and have a sleepover. Is everything going to change in a good way? I think so, Boomer. I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that everything is going to change color and look all shiny and sparkly and new. All when the clock strikes midnight. This is going to be so great. <laughs> yeah. I always wondered if magic and stuff happened after we went to sleep. Me too. Now for once, Digger, we'll get to see it. Not only will we see it become a new day, we'll also see it become a new year. All right. <laughs> Let's celebrate by seeing who can win the last race of the old year. Yeah! <laughs> when the clock is 12, everything will change. Will it be fun and cool, exciting and strange? We can't wait to see the stuff we've never seen before. We'll meet the New Year's Wide Awaken with an engine roar. It will all be fresh and new. a lot of racing we did. Oh, I'm totally beat. <sighs> Me too. Oh no, look how tired we are. What if we fall asleep early and miss the new year? That would be seriously no bueno. I want to see the new year change everything. Yeah, and I want to prove I can stay up till midnight like a big truck. Maybe we should all take an afternoon nap to get ready for tonight. <laughs> Rowdy, you take a nap every <laughs> afternoon, amigo. <laughs> no nap. We might accidentally sleep right through the whole night. How can we make totally sure we'll stay up till midnight? <gasps> Red on turbocharger! I think I have a plan to keep us awake. Follow me. Yippee! <laughs> we'll need lots of these parts. What okay, did Chuck? Why? Because we're going to work together and build stuff that will help keep us awake for New Year's Eve. Wow, what a great idea. Last one to finish his wake up or is a big flat tire. Oh, yeah! Okay guys, what have you come up with? We call it the un-asleeper. We figured that if we can keep our wheels moving, we can't fall asleep. <laughs> That's awesome. I call this the face splasher. If I fall asleep and it hears me snoring, it'll splash me in the face with water and wake me up. <laughs> Too cool. Check out what I made. I built this awake -alizer. If I fall asleep, it will give me a quick burst of speed and wake me up. These cool inventions should keep us awake until midnight for sure. Bumpers up. <laughs> <laughs> Friends for the long haul. Ay, ay, ay. Is it midnight yet? 
It feels like I've been up for three days. And six nights. Guys, we've got to stay awake. The new year is coming, and we've got to see everything change. Digger, Rowdy, if you're sleepy, you'd better get on your honest sleeper machine right now. <laughs> okay. I'm awake. How are my night riders doing? Anybody sleepy yet? Thanks to our inventions, we're doing totally great, Mom. We'll be awaker than awake at midnight for sure. You know, it's not a terrible thing if you decide you want to go to bed. No way, Mom. I said I'm going to stay up to see the new year, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, you're certainly trying hard. There's no denying that. I'll be back to check on you later. Splashing myself. Never mind. We need to do more than just move around. We need to talk. That'll help keep us awake, too. So, what do you guys think will happen when the clock hits midnight? Well, I think the moon will become red with green polka dots. That'd be amazing. What about you guys? Uh, maybe the clouds will become piñatas, but instead of rain coming out of them, there'll be spark plugs. <laughs> And there'll be pillows everywhere. Big, fluffy pillows. Boomer, are you okay? I think the moon will become red with green polka dots. Did I already say that? <gasps> no, no! Come on, guys, wake up! Boomer! Boomer! Someone's got to stay awake with me! Rowdy? Digger? Looks like your pals have hit empty, Honey Bumper. How are you doing, Chuck? Great. I'm not gonna miss the new year. I said I'm gonna make it, and I will no matter what. I've been... Ooh, dreaming of this. Hmm, dreaming. No, no dreaming. Not for me. I'm staying awake. Awake Elizer on. <laughs> See you at midnight, Mom. I guess you might. I guess you might. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. Ooh, stay awake. I can't believe he almost made it. He's got a motor that never wants to quit. But it looks like it's time to park him for the night. Huh? What's going on? Congratulations, Honey Bumper. You're officially awake at midnight, and now it's the new year. You made it, son. But, but, the sky doesn't sparkle, the moon is the same color, and nothing has changed. This new year looks just like the old one. We told you it was just a tick of the clock, Chuck. New Year's is a chance for everyone to celebrate what they did in the past and to get excited about what they're going to do in the future. But if you're looking for something that's different from last year, how about this? You've just experienced your first New Year's with us, and you kept a promise you made to yourself to see it. I guess I did, didn't I? Boy, did you. You found all sorts of creative ways to keep that promise. That kind of determination shows us how much you've grown up. That's what's changed. And now you can get some sleep. I bet you're ready, huh? Chuck? <laughs> Happy New Year, Chuck. <laughs> Yeah, Chuck and Fred.
Hashtag AHY weather. Sunny today, but overnight clouds will roll in. Get ready for a big snowstorm just in time for Christmas. Power and pickups, they're here. The Christmas gifts for my friends. A cool racing spoiler for Boomer. For Handy, he's racing tires. And for Soku, some racing stickers. Those seem like great gifts for someone who loves racing. Someone like you, maybe? Well, I do love them. So why wouldn't my friends love them too? Chuck, just because you love racing doesn't mean that your friends would want racing gifts. Giving presents is about thinking of others. <sighs> You're right, Mom. I guess I really didn't think about what my friends would want. Is it too late to get them new gifts? Well, if you can decide on new gifts by tonight, I can order them and the delivery truck will bring them by tomorrow morning. Red Hot Turbo Chargers! I'm gonna go find out what my friends really want for Christmas. Bye, Mom! <laughs> well, hello there, Mr. Soku. Mr. Boomer, I'm on my way to work. Hey, guys, I have a question for you. What would you like for... Oh, hello, Mr. Chuck. We're pretending that we're grown-ups. Are you on your way to work, too? Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, yes, Mr. Soku. I'm on my way to my job as a racing truck. <laughs> In fact, I'm developing a new racing style. That sounds very interesting, Mr. Chuck. Uh, tell us about your new style. Well, it's a new way of winning races. Something nobody's ever done before. With a crowd of trucks in front of Chuck, there's no way he can pass them all. What will he do? You'd be allowed to win that way, Chuck. Maybe not, but it would surprise everyone. They'd all think I was just a racing truck. And then, boom! I'd show them I'm a lot more. A drilling truck, too. Well, when I grow up, I'm gonna be a movie star. Watch. You ride with me, pal. And you're riding in the fast lane. <laughs> what do you think, huh? I can act both action and comedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to be an architect when I grow up. That means I draw new buildings so construction trucks would know how to make them. I can't wait for us to grow up and become movie stars and architects and racers and... Hey, Boomer, you haven't said what you want to be when you get older. Oh, uh, you don't want to hear mine. Sure we yeah. do. Yeah. Come on, Boomer. Okay, well, I'd kind of like to be a snowplow. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Good one, Boomer. Seriously, Boomer, what do you want to be when you grow up? I, uh, well, I guess I don't know yet. Oh, wow, it's getting late. I'd better be going home. Boomer? Boomer! Hey, Boomer, you left before I could ask you a question. I'm getting everyone a Christmas gift. So what would you like? Go ahead, anything you want. <sighs> Can you make me into a snow plow? Gee, I was kind of thinking you'd ask for a ball or something. So you really do want to be a snow plow. I guess it sounds funny, but I know I could be a snow plow, Chuck. I've watched other plows, studied them. I know I could do the job. I would move big piles of heavy snow and it would help other trucks keep safe on the roads. I didn't realize how much it meant to you, buddy. I'm sorry I laughed. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe I can make you a snowplow. Power and pickups, I've got an idea. Okay, Boomer, give it a try. Here it goes. Cleared the road! <laughs> Thanks, Chuck! This plow is the best Christmas present ever! I'm gonna go show Handy and Soku. How about that? He loved that plow because it was something he really wanted. 
something perfect for him. Power and pickups! I think I know what to get my other friends for Christmas. Gotta get home and tell Mom. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, guys, what do you think? That's great, Boomer. Terrific snowplow costume. Costume? Uh, no, no, it's not a costume. It's a real plow. Chuck, help me make it. Watch. See? Oh. Oh. Ouch. Ooh. Careful, Boomer. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. I guess fire trucks aren't supposed to have snowplow blades on them. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not meant to be a snowplow. <sighs> Just a fire truck. So, what do you think of my gift ideas, Mom? I think your friends will be thrilled. I'll call the delivery truck to bring them tomorrow, just in time for Christmas. I can't wait! This is going to be the best Christmas ever! <laughs> Well, look at all this snow. It's a white Christmas. Maybe too much snow. Chuck, I'm afraid the delivery truck won't be able to get through in this. But what about the perfect gifts I ordered for my friends? Chuck! Candy, you drove here through all that snow? B -b Barely. The roads are really snowy. I almost got stuck twice. But I wanted to give you something. Merry Christmas! Wow, Andy! Racing stickers! That's exactly what I wanted! Thanks! I ordered you something too, but... <sighs> but I don't know if it'll get here through all the snow. Sorry, Chuck. I just got off the radio with the delivery truck and the roads to the truck stop aren't cleared. In fact, he said that nobody should be out there. It's just too dangerous. Soku? What is it? I was driving over here with your gift, but the snow got too deep and... <sighs> I'm stuck on the ice! That snowdrift is too deep for us to get him out of there. And the regular snowplow is busy on the other roads. It's going to be a while before he can help. So, who's gonna help Soku? I know who. So what do you think, Boomer? Can you do it? I don't know, Chuck. When I tried to plow for Soku and Handy yesterday, I wasn't so good at it. I don't think I'm supposed to be a snow plow. But we need you, Boomer. Can you at least try again? I'm not sure, Chuck. I... Boomer? Boomer! All the snow must be affecting the radio. We can't let Soku sit out there. We've got to do something. There! Handy, attach this piece of wood to my bumper. I watched Boomer yesterday. I think all you have to do is... <sighs> it's no use. I haven't studied and practiced plowing snow like Boomer has. Chuck, are you guys coming? are a snowplow, Boomer. A good one. I've got one more job for you, Boomer, if you're up for it. Yeah! yeah! Thanks, Boomer. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to deliver these Christmas gifts. You got a real future as a snowplow. Aw, oh, gee. Thanks. Come on, everybody. Open your gift. A sketchbook and a mechanical pencil. Just like a real architect. And a new side view mirror for Soku, so he can make sure he's always looking good when he's getting ready to be in a movie. Thanks, Chuck. You ride with me, pal. <laughs> and I even got something else for you, Boomer. Open it. <gasps> wow! A real life plow blade. Thanks, Chuck. I'm just glad my friends can see I'm more than just what I look like. That's the best Christmas present of all. 